questions in. All right, Lady Ada, what did you want to show on Top Secret? Well, I thought, you know, this is a, a rare Pi 5. It's here. Okay, so the only thing is we only have one. Yeah, we have one. Uh, so we're going to take photos of it. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to try to get Blinkit working on it. But um, pretty cool stuff. You know, uh, they did change the um, setup of how the Ethernet and USB jacks work. So the Ethernet's back down here like it was for the Pi 3. The PoE port changed. Uh, the camera and um display uh interface uh ports are now uh smaller they're point uh five millimeters not one millimeter pitch so you'll need those raspberry pi zero adapter cables uh, you'll use those in order to connect um, displays and cameras a uh, very beautiful layout for this power management that creates all these voltages required um an on off switch which is really neat press the button turn it on and off pcie we chatted about that on the uh Desk Lady Ada last week. Uh, this chip with a nice built in heat sinking um, metal top. So it'll be really good for heat dissipation. Uh, the cool new RP1 um, looks like it's got like a high speed differential bridge um, to do the GPIO. It also handles, I think, uh, either like the USB hub or maybe the Ethernet Phi. I don't know. It does a bunch of stuff. Um, fan connector, UR connector, battery for the real time clock built into this dialog chip. Um, this is really like a very pro, not that the other Raspberry Pi's weren't pro, but they really, it's just like, they're really polishing it up. You know, like they're really making, they, they feel like they really hit their stride and like, okay, this is a really nice single board computer. So, you know, it does, it, it does change a couple things like the POE connector has changed. Um, we're going to have to update our Blinka code to support this RP1 chip. But, you know, if it's at all like the RP2040, which spun out of it, it'll have, you know, PWM support. It's going to have multiple I2C and SPI and UART, um, NeoPixel. It'll be able to handle a lot of the um, stuff that's very challenging to do on a Raspberry Pi, like um, controlling motors and steppers, um, controlling fans, um, reading analog inputs, PWM and LEDs. Uh, so hopefully that'll all be possible now with this RP1. So it's very exciting, but a really beautiful design and uh, clearly optimized for cost, but also uh, tons of great new capability that I'm looking forward to. Okay. That's uh, top secret. Well, we're going to do some questions and then we'll... Uh... Mm. Where are we?